Hey guys, uh, welcome to the part two uh, of uh, how to use Peter Mikkonen inspired uh, pack design for Luma Fusion. Uh, in previous uh, video, uh, I have shown you how to use a glitch text effect uh, and lower thirds. So now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to use this Peter Mikkonen style multi-purpose intro. Okay. This tab to open okay so now first we are going to play wow so cool So cool okay uh, so now I will explain you uh, from start step by step how to modify it according to your need okay how to add a photo or video uh, and what are the things are in the timeline as a lot of things are happening in the timeline you can see this okay so first uh, we have to unlink everything okay okay so now first on the top there is a hidden clip uh, this clip is uh, our cinematic bar okay if you want cinematic look you can keep cinematic look okay I have also shown the tutorial on how to use cinematic bars and if you have the template you can use drag and use it okay but I have already used one uh, cinematic bar okay I'm keeping it lock okay. and uh, second timeline is about shapes uh, wait I will show you see have you seen this uh, circles now it's off okay now it's on see off on okay it's announced our intro or video very much okay and in third we can see let me turn off okay it's off see the transition is disappear okay if you see i'm using this transition with the combination of blending mode okay let me show you i'm using hard light by default i will show you how it's look wow so cool okay so I'm keeping it highlight uh, you can play with it okay I will also show you how to create this and how to modify that transition I've also made a, a specific uh, video uh, on how to use Peter Macron style uh, transition okay there are almost uh, 25 transition so I have explained uh, everything in that video how to use that transition and how to modify it according to your project need okay I will also show you uh, one uh, one transition how to edit and how to achieve this uh, look okay so now we will start from first so 0.5 frame okay it's a black then you can see 0 0.7 then there is a scroll transition okay and here red color is a text okay if you don't want to show the text in your video or your in your intro just turn off this okay double tap and turn off it okay You can also change uh, the font, uh, text, anything you want. Let me show you. VLG block. Okay. Okay. Now 
as we go forward uh, again text if you don't want you can simply hide okay see there is a text and another there is a transition I have used blending mode to enhance it okay see there in this uh, intro there are so many different transition that you can use it uh, in your project by saving as a preset file okay see these are also some transitions if you turn off the look will be gone and now it enhancing the look very much okay at last you can see that glitch text intro logo short uh, at last uh, you are saying at last you can see short glitch text intro okay so I have shown this uh, intro uh, in previous part 1 if you have not watched the part 1 you can watch the part 1 uh, links are given in the description okay so now we'll show you a uh, first transition so for that open this uh, switch to i peter magnin style transition okay so as you can see there are so many different transitions so we'll show you what I have used in the video at starting see Ooh. okay so just you have to double tap and make a change in the font you can also write your slogan okay so click on export movie select the slide number first always keep in mind always select the slide number first 16 to 16 means we are going to export only 16 number slide okay choose 4k export save the video now open luma fusion now we have to go to photos just drag okay now we are going to turn off this so we have to see see your channel okay so now just uh, double tap go to blending mode show we can modify as per which effect you like the most okay, I will show you what I liked it hard light okay see channel okay so now you know how to customize your own transition okay it's look very good now about how to import our own clip okay so like uh, I have to import this okay so I have to replace with this okay so what you have to do just there is a splitter okay you can split the best moment you want okay and just drag it okay as it come to the timeline uh, you can again select the best part if you are not able to select it from short timeline okay so now uh, bring between 0 0.7 0 0.7 drag it above see now it's white and now it's yellow I'm talking about the border line okay if it's yellow it's correct okay now placed it replace the clip uh, what uh, software is asking that uh, you have to replace it keep timeline duration 
or you have to overwrite it for the duration of a new clip okay so what you have to select is replace clip keep timeline duration okay okay let me disable see it's now disabled see it's now changed like this you can import your own photos or videos anything just you have to drag the best part of the clip okay just bring to the timeline okay then again make it little small 4.0.4 and replace it okay you have to just overlap with the clip and select replace it first option okay don't do mistake using second option okay see now about last clip uh, uh, in previous video I have shown you how to use this uh, short glitch uh, text intro okay so for that open that file type your channel on this three dots export movie select the slide number is six okay export it Save to the video. Now use. Just drag and overlap it and select this first option. Replace clip. Keep timeline duration. See, it's done. Okay. So like this, you can create your uh, and modify this template. And it's very uh, easy to edit and you can also edit your uh, audio just drag and uh, drop the audio okay you can it's very easy to customize I hope you uh, like this project uh, and tutorial uh, if found useful then give a big thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel uh, share with your friends and share with to your luma fusion community and see you in the last part uh, third part of this uh, peter mcnan series uh, to see you in the third part